You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. This episode of the Tales of Deputy Guppy was made possible in part by a very generous donation from the Foss family in Bellevue, Nebraska. They say they like to take us along with them on their road trips, and we sure do appreciate them taking us along for the ride. And if you'd like to make a donation to help support our shows, you can do so at SaturdayMorningMedia.com. And now, on with our show. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago, when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order, one fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch, one fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, Into the Cave. In our last episode, Deputy Guppy and Ringo had come up to Mount Obsidian in search of Ted Conger, a prospector who'd gone missing. We find our heroes, along with another miner, Mr. Pickerel, riding up to the mouth of an unexplored cave. Here you go, Deputy. This must be the cave. Ted? Ted Conger, you in there? Ted Conger, this is Deputy Guppy. Are you in there? Hmm, looks like a dead end. Now nah, look at the silt there at the mouth of the cave. Seahorse tracks. Yep, he was here. You reckon he went in the cave? I'm betting he did. Darn fool. That's an unexplored cave. He could have fallen in a pit or something. Yeah. Well, what are we gonna do, Gup? We're going in. Uh, Mr. Pickerel, will you stay here with our horses? Sure. Come on, Ringo. Um, well... You sure you need me? It's awful dark in there. That's why I need you. I'll go first, you follow behind. If I fall in the same pit, you back out and get help. Okay, Gup. If you say so, let's go. Sure is dark in here, Guppy. Uh Uh-huh. Watch your step. The light from the entrance is getting less and less. Don't need you falling into a pit. Yeah. Uh, you really think Ted Conger's in here? Well, he'd be a darn fool to do so, but it makes the most sense that this is where he is. Gold makes fish do strange things. That it does, Ringo. Glad I never got bit by the fever. Me too. Ted! Ted Conger, you in here? Nothing. Yeah, he could have fallen, though. Be hurt and unable to answer. Well, I don't know how we're going to see him in this darkness. Well, we'll just go a little further here, and if we can't locate him, we'll ride back to town and get some torches. I just don't want to leave him here if he's not too far ahead. Shh, listen. What is it? Not sure. Something's moving around up ahead. Cup, I don't mean to tell you, but I'm a mite bit nervous here. I mean, what if it's a... What if it's a... A crawdad or something worse? We could be walking right into its jaws. I don't think so. It's daytime. Most crawdads are out and about foraging for food. I still don't like it. Just be quiet for a second, Ringo. Let me pinpoint it. (coughs) Why, it's a seahorse. Sure is. I'm reckoning that it's Ted Conger's seahorse. Just gotta move slow. Don't want to startle it. Well, it's pitch black, but I'm sure she heard us. Just the same. Be careful. Well, I will, but I won't. Ringo! Oh, I bumped right into a cup. She's panicking. Find the cave wall and hug it, Ringo. I'm trying. She's flashing out. Check in the wall. She's bolting back to the entrance. Whew. That was a close one. You all right, Cup? Yeah, I- I'm good. Well, at least we know Conger was in here. Yeah, I wonder what it's... Shh! What now? I don't know. I just heard something. A rumble. A rumble? Cup, you think the horse hitting the walls was... Cover your head, Ringo! It's a cave-in! Ah!
Deputy Guppy and Ringo caught in a cave-in? Will they survive? Find out in the next exciting season of The Tales of Deputy Guppy! You've just listened to the season finale of the Tales of Deputy Guppy here on Saturday Morning Theater. Now, we wanted to let you know that Saturday Morning Theater is going to take the month of January 2014 off due to some travel. But stay tuned. We'll pick up with brand new adventures in the middle of February 2014. And in the meantime, visit SaturdayMorningMedia.com to see what other shows will be running during that time. You can check out Did This Happen? And there's always my bi-weekly video adventures on the Uncle Interloper Show. And please, let us know what you thought of the very first season of The Tales of Deputy Guppy. If enough folks enjoyed it, we'll do a season two. You can let us know via our website at www.saturdaymorningmedia.com or via email to hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com. This episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy starred Kevin Burnson, Chris Sheets, Artie Esposito, and Grant Pachoco. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. And say, kids, there's a brand new building for your Driftwood Gulch playset that's all ready for you to download, print, color, cut, and assemble. All you gotta do is head on over to SaturdayMorningTheater.com and click on the link to the free PDF in the post for this episode. This week, you get to build the Union Saloon. Once you add this new building to your playset, we sure would love to see a picture of your entire Driftwood Gulch. Once you take your picture, send it to hello at Saturday morningmedia.com. Saturday Morning Theater is a production of Saturday Morning Media and it's brought to you free of charge every Saturday morning. If you enjoy this show and the others available for free at SaturdayMorningMedia.com and you'd like to see them continue, there are several ways you can help make that happen. You can tell a friend about the show. You can leave us a five-star review on iTunes and we'll mention your name right here on the show. You can also support the show by visiting our website where you can make a donation or set up a recurring subscription. And now you can flatter us. Visit our website for more information. You can also check out our store where you can buy items from your favorite Saturday morning media shows. Remember, your generosity helps support this show and the other shows from Saturday Morning Media, your source for family-friendly fun. Well, that's going to do it for this week. We'll see you in February 2014 for a brand new series chock full of family-friendly adventures. My name's Uncle Interloper, and we'll see you next time. You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>